$102 is what we made so far in this series. Now we're going to end up at $174 and oh my god, I got some stories to tell you. Look, in this video, you're going to see me pick up a $24 delivery and find out what happens because uh, it's interesting. It's, it's worth learning. It's something you, you're going to learn out of it. Then I'm going to introduce you to a 101 year old friend of mine that makes airplanes out of beer cans. Yeah, you want to stick around for that. Well, it's just a short clip, just, 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 just so you know. And eventually, I ended up picking a $38 ride, $20 cash tip. We ended up at $174. And yes, I know, I did another medical ride for $13. But there's a reason why you're going to find out. Because not all, you know, trip coordinator rides are bad. Let's go. But first, my friend who is 101 years old. Happy Memorial Day. This is one of our veterans, guys. He is awesome. The Art of Cherry Picking, Episode 8, Part 4. All right, now we have to turn on Uber X. I can already see people standing here waiting for a ride. This is some sort of rehab facility. So I turned Uber X on. We're going to study this real fast. Um, there is a slight surge over here. There's a slight surge over here. I am right here. And, and there's no... Oops. No, we're not moving for $3. There's no rides over here, and even if I get a ride over here to towards Hamul or Alpine, I'm not gonna take Alpine's up here, by the way, right? So right now, anything I get, either it has to go towards Poway, hopefully not. Most likely, I'll go towards Del Mar or La Jolla. Ideally, if I can get to downtown San Diego, is good. If it takes me towards the border, is fine. But basically, we want to avoid anything going this way, and we want to take anything going west towards San Diego. Look at that nasty one. $3.99 for multiple stops. Makes me want to puke. Uh-huh. $13, sure. Take me back to the airport, I will do it. Message oh, from trip coordinator. coordinator right. Actual pickup address. El Cajon passenger Sharon Sorry is only authorized to travel to 2006. Oh, shut up. Sorry for the bad audio. There's just too much potholes uh, in, you know, cities like El Cajon. So this is basically another Medi-Cal ride, but it's $13. I get to move towards downtown San Diego. It's worth it for me. And I told you, if I don't turn on UberX, I'm not gonna get it. Now we're picking up Sharon, another trip coordinator ride, or Medi-Cal ride, our taxpayer dollars, uh, 492 UberX, and none of that really matters. Now the main reason why I took this for $13 is it puts me back in San Diego where I can go to the airport and I can take a break. And it's always risky doing trip coordinator rides because you have no idea if you're going to get a mentally ill patient, a drug addict, a homeless person. Like each time you do trip coordinator, just be careful. You want to study and you want to watch the people. And sometimes two or three people will get in your car, so you have to be really careful. I'm just giving you a heads up. Normally, you know, if it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I wouldn't take this. But because it's a Wednesday and I want to get to $150 and this pays me to relocate, I went ahead and I grabbed it. Hopefully you know the drill by now. Turn off Uber X. All right, the lady is like waving me down. African-American lady. I couldn't figure out where to go. If it was an apartment building or here because the address is off. Coming in. She's cool. She's got blonde hair. For Sharon? Oh, yes. Come on in. How you doing, ma'am? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Good. I'm gonna double check. 2630 1st Street, San Diego? Yes, sir. Alright. What are you up to today? Just going to the dentist. Oh, you got to get some work done, huh? Yeah. You know, it's cheaper in Mexico. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just probably not safe. Okay. Make sure you got everything. Yes, sir. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Oh my God, that lady was so kind. She was quiet. And I was like, where are you going? What's going on? What's cracking? 
and she's like, I'm going to the dentist to get my teeth worked on. Then I looked, she didn't have any teeth. But you know what? She was so nice, so kind. God bless her. So we're at 115 and two passengers. Let me show you how we got here. All right, I am right here, right by the airport. I picked her up from right here. And if I remember correctly, we went down the 94, came up on the five and dropped her off right there. Now these are the two medical rides that I just did. Uh, $18 and the one I did right now. But the important thing to note here is you add those two, you get $31 back to back in around an hour's worth of time. All right, education time. 17 miles, I'm gonna say this is good. $13, I'm gonna say this is good. 20 minutes or 21 minutes, I'm gonna say this is good. There's no tip expected, so this is a three out of four. And the reason why it's good is I'm right next to the airport. All right, let's study this. So what did the government pay? Oh, no, I'm sorry, not the government. <laughs> what did our taxpayers dollar pay for this ride? $29, out of 29, what's the damage? Auto insurance? made uh, nine uber took five that's 14 plus a little change we're gonna say uber got 15 right and then we got 13 we got less than 50 percent but this is the best part boom right here look i'm right by the airport and this is why i said this is a great cherry picked now the bad thing is there's over 105 people waiting so that means there's going to be a long wait at the airport right now Oh yeah, this is a long wait at the airport. If you look right here, we're at 2 o'clock. So if I go to the airport, I might be waiting there for 2 hours right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn UberX on, see if I can do another ride, and then work my way back to the airport. I want to get to the airport around 5, 6, or 7, so I can get a ride going home. I got the glasses on for this one because, look... $24 Uber delivery offer and I was like, oh my god, I'll hit $150 and five passengers. Let's go And then something weird happened which you're gonna find out in a second After that I went to the airport when I noticed the queue was moving a lot faster than I thought at around 3 o'clock I think in the afternoon and that's where I picked the next cherry Basically, you're gonna see me pick up a passenger for $38 and thanks to the customer service, it ended up being a $58 ride. Now I'm in Carlsbad. I've made $174 in five passengers. My goal was 150. And now we're gonna ride the wave and try to get to 200. Who knows, maybe I might even try to get 250. But take a look at my greedy Uber algorithm app right now. All right, I will turn on UberX in case I get something without having to go to the airport. We are very close to the airport. $115, I think in four passengers. So if I got another $15 ride, I would consider it. Now it's a waiting game. And we got the first offer, no thank you. And this is what I just got done while I was waiting. I got the thumbnail for the next video that I'm gonna be sharing with you. Ooh, $24 delivery? Yeah, I'll do the $24 delivery. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with it. El Fogon Seafood and Tacos. Alright, Lord have mercy. Hey, $24 is enough for me to move. Alright, this is the food delivery we got for $24. El Fogon Seafood and Tacos. Note from business food truck is Clover Leaf Market parking lot. Got it. Will Nisha two items will verify all right expected in 30 minutes or 34 minutes oh i better go now it's trying to offer me another delivery for 12 dollars and i can't make that decision right now because i'm driving so don't don't be doing that shit uber well i got here the timer is not starting and on top of that there's no food truck here <laughs> there's like donations here so I'm not sure what to do. Maybe this is why this was $24 because the drivers can't figure out where the food truck is. So I'm trying to think right now, should I Google it and call them? That's what I'll try to do first. Well, according to Google, they're supposed to be right here. I'm like right next to it. Yeah. 
Where are you guys at? Okay, I called them. Uh, no one's picking up. So now I'm going to call the customer and see if she can give me some more direction. Uh, I can't even call the customer. Look, I'm trying to... Oh, there it is. Why is Uber offering me more deliveries while I already have an order right here? That makes no sense. I think this is just a bad order. It's probably an order from another day. Yeah, see, I can't even call the customer. So we're going to say... I'm just going to say can't find the restaurant. Yeah, of course I want to cancel. All right. Can't do anything about that, my friends. But lesson learned. Not all deliveries are good. This one was $24. It was too good to be true. All right. That was a good delivery experience. Uh, we didn't make anything, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Sometimes I can get lucky uh, from Hillcrest right here, up on the top right. Uber's trying to give me $3. Get out of here. So Hillcrest is right here. Sometimes I can get lucky there, but I'm just going to stay here and wait. I already said no, you little punk. Actually, I just checked the airport, so it is busy. Look, it went down from 100. I already said no. 71 out of 75. I'm just going to go to the airport. I just saw a plane land, which is good news. Anytime you see planes coming minute after minute, that's very good. So as I'm pulling up to the queue, I've already seen 10 Uber cars leave right now. And there's two or three going ahead of me, which means there is a possible short wait here. By short, I mean about an hour. We might get lucky. All right. The queue went even lower. I just saw another plane land. So here, my move is going to be simple. If I can get a short ride to here, I'm okay with it because 15, 20 bucks and to stay close enough to come to the airport would be ideal. Otherwise, if I get a big ride, which means over 30 bucks, I'll do it, but we got to deal with traffic. Oh man, that's going to be a slow upload. Because my data is out, so it's at two percent. I'm supposed to premiere this in uh, two hours. I might have to change the premiere. Yeah, it's taking three hours. I'll have to change that. I'll take it to Carlsbad for thirty-eight dollars right now. Because I'm still waiting in the queue. Come on, Uber. Come on, Uber. Come on. That gives me the money that I need, and then I can go home. Oh no! Now I'm gonna try to hit two hundred dollars. Not bad. All right. That was a good call to come to the airport. Mr. I don't know if it's Dennis or Denise, but I think it's Denise. 491, even better. All right, it's a Terminal 2 pickup. It looks nice and easy. There's actually not too many people here, so I think I got lucky with this uh, ride. All right, the guy saw me, he's coming down. Perfect, it's a guy, it's a Dennis. I thought it was Denise. All right, how you doing? Good, how are you? I am good. And it's for Dennis? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're looking at about an hour, okay? Yeah. Probably a little bit of traffic. How was your flight? Um, you know, these days, for, for the way the airlines are these days, I would say I'd give it a B. <laughs> Not but bad. But the good thing is, I was scheduled to leave later this evening. I was in Wisconsin and uh, I decided to get up early and just, you know, knowing that it's never smooth anymore. The earlier I get started, the you know, the better better chance I have to get all the way here. So, and the flight that I was on, I just got a notice that canceled it. So I would have sat there all day. Oh man! And, and then my la the last Friday night would have been canceled. So. So you're out there for work, looks like? Uh, play, uh, a little bit of golf. Oh, that's golf stuff right there. Look at that. Dude, the guy already gave me a tip. Man, this is so cool. Look, this was a $38 ride. Because we had a good conversation and there was a lot of traffic, 38 turned into 58 and that's two good cherries picked today for $50 and above. My goal was 150. I'm at 174, 
Now we're going to try to hit 200. And look, I was driving with the app turned off because I want to take a break after an hour long ride. There's a surge right there where Uber's like, hey, come, come do some more work. No, bro, you algorithm, you, you wait for me now. Let me show you the drive. Airport is right here. We are right here. And I just took the five all the way up. And the issue was right here in Del Mar, there's a lot of traffic here. There were like 10 lanes on the freeway, but still that didn't help. Okay, let's study this together. All right. 34 miles for $38 is okay. It's Wednesday, okay? One hour to make $38 is fine. But customer service got us $58. Now that's a great cherry pick. That's two today. And notice the four out of four. Now we're gonna take a look. Oh my God, yeah, it was a $20 tip. Look right here. I'm gonna say thank you right away because if you gave me a tip right away, might as well thank him right away. And let's see if Uber got us on this one. I don't think Uber got us on this one. Uh, he paid 56 plus 20, he paid $76, right? Remember, he's retired. And when you have a good conversation with the older retired guy with a 4.91 rating, uh, there's a good chance for a tip. Oh, phenomenal cherry pick. Look, Uber lost money on this, right? 65 cents. Auto insurance, only $14. $4 for the airport, 18 went to Uber. Let's say 20 went to Uber and let's say 58, we got 60. We got two thirds of the money. Great cherry picked. Uber FAQ playlist linked above. Check out the first video on top left to see the next episode. The video just underneath it is the playlist. And on the left, or maybe you're right, it's a way to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and keep asking goddamn good questions.